hi guys it's harriet of course y'all know that and um i'm making this video to do a what's on my galaxy note 8 in a case collection um i'm gonna do the case collection first because i don't really have that many because they don't really make cases like that are cute for the note 8 like that so yeah i don't really have a whole bunch so i'm gonna just do the little bit of cases that i got okay starting out with this old ugly ass case that i bought from um ebay it looked really different in the picture and i've never used it never used it then i have this um it's purple it looks blue but it's purple I got it from eBay as well. I got this from Amazon. It was supposed to be purple, but it's blue. So I don't use it. Then I have this, and I'm a little bit weary about using this case because my phone broke in it. Um, this is my second Galaxy Note 8, and uh, it's been about two weeks since my phone broke. So I'm a little bit weary about putting my phone back in this case, even though I really do like this. I got this from eBay as well. I don't remember the prices, y'all. I just, I really don't. I'm so sorry. Then I have this. I didn't, I don't even use this. I think I got this from eBay too. Then I have this, which is one of my favorite cases. And uh, I got this from eBay. It's a speed gen case. It's clear, but I mean, I like it. It's one of my favorites. Then I have this, which is one of my newest ones. And uh, I haven't used it yet because I'm using the one that I'm about to show y'all in a minute. Um, I got this from eBay as well. I think I paid $7 for it. Don't quote me on that though. Then I have this. Um, this is what I bought my phone with. And I like this case, but the kickstand is real weak on it. As you can see, like, oh, it's not going to do it now because I'm recording. But it be falling, okay? This little piece be falling. And that's it. Oh, wait. I got this case, too. This is one of my favorites. But the thing I don't like about this case you hit the Bixby button a lot by mistake so I don't really use this one that much now the case that I have on my phone is this it's purple my favorite color of course um purple and black my two favorite colors and uh it's like a lavender type of purple here we are I got this from eBay as well and I think I paid I want to say eight dollars eight dollars for it so we gonna start this is my home screen and i'm using az screen record as you can see to record all of this um so that's me and my kids my babies i need to fix that picture because athena's face is cropped out i don't know how that happened anyway so this is my home screen and as you can see I have comic book icons but unfortunately you cannot do this anymore so it's no point in even me telling you how to do it anymore I do have a video up on how I did it before but that was long long time ago but um you can't really do this anymore because of the new update that they have it's Android Oreo 8.0 um I don't know what they did but you can't get them like this no more so um the apps are usually like this like this kick-ass thing here see how this one looks and it got that little icon on the 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 end of it that's how they end up looking now I don't know when they're gonna fix that Hopefully they fix it soon because some of the apps I do want to change. But 
because of my OCD I haven't changed it so yeah so starting out I have podcast addict I am a very 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 huge fan of horror fiction horror movies horror stories all that jazz all of it all of it I'm a big fan of it so with that being said I have a lot of uh like horror fiction podcasts that I listen to particularly the no sleep podcast um as you can see I listen to them quite a bit the reason why there are so many different placeholders is because those are season passes and I pay for the season pass um because I just absolutely love that fucking show you you pay in for extra content I just love it so yeah um simply scary this is new i haven't listened to it yet but it's a spinoff from the chilling tales podcast so i'm pretty sure i might like it but to be honest i don't really be listening to the rest of them i just be listening to the no sleep podcast but um i did listen to earbud theater this one is really good i really like this show but the frequency in the uploads was too damn long they upload like every month and it's just so frustrating so frustrating but i do love earbud theater it's like an orgasm for your ears because you it's very like you can set the scene so quickly with the amount of like i can't explain it it's it's just a really good podcast but anyway then i have uh my weather widget here then audible um i don't really list i don't have my membership for audible anymore because i don't really listen to the audiobooks i'm more into podcasts right now um but i did buy the um 50 shades darker as told by christian gray I love his side of the story it's much much better than the original book in my humble opinion um so if y'all have not checked that out I highly recommend this book his his point of view is just the best like it it's the best anyway that's it these are all my books then I have TV which is um, my terrarium app I don't really watch TV like that but um if I do want to watch a show or something like that like while I'm doing my hair or whatever then I'll come on this app and I'll find something to watch um this app is not in the Google Play Store so you're not gonna find it like that um you have to Google it uh what's this oh these are all my favorite shows that I like to watch um i zombie is one of my favorite shows one of my absolute favorite shows is ash versus evil dead now evil dead is actually my favorite scary movie well it's really gore it's like a gory ass movie but i love this show because it's pretty much the same thing but they canceled it and they left it on a cliffhanger and I'm so fucking mad because I'm like damn I don't know what happened and I want to know what happened and they canceled the damn show dang shit but it's fine I mean like I could just watch reruns of the damn show anyway then I have my YouTube play movies chrome settings and in this first folder I have like apps that I use all the time because I don't want a bunch of different pages I only have one page um, I don't want to keep shuffling through to look for stuff so I have uber lyft calendar clock s note city mobile flow background recorder which is what I use to record um, my rides when I do uber and stuff snapchat baby plus credit one dropbox and life 360 i use life 360 to um track my daughter's phone and she can send me a distress signal if she need help or something like that so yeah then in the second folder i have 
um, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook video downloader. Textgram, Etsy, eBay, the Pirate Bay, if you don't know what that is. That's your business. Then I have Innovate, InShot, Target, PayPal, PhotoGrid, Amazon, ToolWiz, and Walmart. Then I have PS Messages, PS App. The Vault and Destiny 2. Those two go hand in hand. I love Destiny 2 if you haven't noticed. That's my favorite game. That and Call of Duty. Those are my two favorite games. Then I have Xfinity, Netflix, Hulu, Subway Surfers, Candy Crush, Tapped Out, Mario Run, Kick-Ass Turrets. If you don't know what that is, that's your business. <laughs> then I have this picture widget with a bunch of pictures of my kids and I floating and um, they're so cute so I have that there then I have my gallery voice recorder whatsapp calendar no calculator maps my files messenger my AT&T gmail Instagram so this is my Instagram and if you want to follow me leave a comment if you're going to follow me okay because i need to know who you are i don't just accept anybody and y'all know why okay um so yeah i got like 44 pending requests and shit uh but yeah this is my page here and if you want to follow me it's nerdy underscore lioness and yeah then i have my twitter and right there i'll leave a link to my twitter page if you want to follow me on twitter and if you're not following me you're asleep as hell because my twitter is the shit okay anyway then i have my facebook which i'm not opening because i don't accept nobody i don't fucking know play store phone contacts messages and camera no more pages then if you scroll up I have the rest of my apps that I hide um well not hide but keeping you know folders or whatever so in the first one I have banking ADP to do with my job AdSense cash app city mobile credit one PayPal Samsung pay and Wells Fargo then I have coding tools um Android tutorials codec crypto prehacked um entertainment audible fire tv i use this to control my fire stick when i lose the remote because i lose the remote a lot hbo go hits 97.3 my favorite radio station hulu hulu netflix playstation no playstation play music podcast addict shazam soundcloud uh stream terrarium tv and youtube now soundcloud i only have that to listen to cayenne i don't have soundcloud cloud for no other reason but to listen to cayenne so then i have my game and stuff and i already showed y'all all of that then i have my google stuff and this is pretty much the google bloatware photo um drive gmail you know bloatware then in my health folder i have baby plus flow um which is like my period app medisafe moodcast my chart and vent yes i have a vent page no you're not going to find me on it because i post under a pseudo name okay um vent is like an app you use to pretty much vent what you're thinking and stuff you know and yeah anyway then I have learning apps. Now, I use these apps to help me with my book because I'm thinking when I finish it, because I'm going to finish it soon, I'm thinking when I finish it, I'm going to post it online as opposed to trying to get it published because I'm not really in it for money. I just want it to be, you know, read or whatever. Anyway, so yeah. Um, also... I post stories under a pseudo name online and a lot of your favorite like 
YouTube readers be reading my stories and y'all don't even know that it's mine because I post under a pseudo name maybe one day maybe one day when I'm comfortable enough I might reveal my pseudo name but we'll see anyway then I have my Microsoft Adobe OneDrive OneNote and Word personalized these were all the apps that I used to personalize my phone but they don't really work like that no more um, because of the new update so uh, I have add watermark awesome icons blue beautiful widgets Coco PPA energy bar energy bar is this little purple line that y'all see at the top of my phone now I put that there because I watch a lot of movies and stuff on my phone so I kind of get lost in the movie and stuff so when I get lost in the movie and everything I don't really be paying attention to the time and not the time but my battery life so I put that there to just you know remind me of my battery and stuff but not like in a big way in a subtle way icon changer samsung themes and swift key beta which is the keyboard i use then i have my photos um dropbox insta beauty i only use this app to brighten my pictures i don't use it for nothing else now i have layout photo grid photo layers reverse image search textgram and tool whiz then I have the Samsung bloatware and the only thing in here I use really is S note and uh, my files then my shopping folder I already told y'all about this except for CVS and the beyond menu that is a Chinese restaurant I order from social then I, uh, in my social folder I have bitmoji Facebook hangouts Instagram messenger pages manager which is uh, my Facebook fan page Pinterest reddit snapchat text now tumblr Twitter unfollow today and whatsapp then I have my sources and in here I have a bunch of VPNs because if one ain't working or one slower than the other one whatever else I got another one okay I also have a VPN for my computer so yeah I pay for that one though but anyway um yes player uTorrent sound loader which is you so you can download music from SoundCloud and app source then I have my T-Mobile bloatware stuff, travel, um, Life360, Lyft and all that, maps, State Farm, my insurance for my car, Street View, SunPass is something that you use to drive on a turnpike in Florida, Uber, an Uber driver, utilities, you know, stuff that come with the phone, and except for ACR and mobile security, which is a... Uh, I think it's called trend trend macro or trend micro yeah trend micro is what it's called and then I have shush in there to help restore my ringer in case I forget to do it myself so yeah then I have video editing AZ screen recorder background um in shot Twitter downloader Power Director, U Cut, YouTube Studio, Contacts, Kick, Recent Download, Save From, something that I use to download videos, and the uh, Secure Folder, Unfollow, and Zedge. And that is it, y'all. That's it. That's everything. If y'all have any questions or anything like that, just leave a comment below and let me know. And yeah that's it that's everything and um i'm gonna talk to y'all later bye